Welcome to Glenview, just getting the day started. They just finished prepping this Jeep here. This one's getting a correction, Modesta BC04. We got some other cars in. We got a special car coming in. 10K detail, our signature 10K detail. Very special uh, NSX 2018, bin number one. Bit. Coming out really easy though. Smooth heat. Will is backing out his uh, car that he just did brakes on and like there's four guys like all standing around it like making sure it doesn't like go anywhere. <laughs> that ain't gonna stop. <laughs> Window tinters have Mondays off so we just got the paint protection film guys in here. Subaru STI. What are we doing? Full front end, rocker panels. What are you doing doors? Oh just the top, uh, bottom half of the door. Oh girl, you blow my mind. I know. When are you gonna put all your downpipe stuff in, dude? Uh, I start next week. So, uh, oh. I, do you know GRD tuned? No, These guys at all. No. So I'm going over there. I'm getting uh, the ECU tuned, mm -hmm. and then I'm getting a new clutch, an upgraded clutch. Right, so that's what we're starting off at. Are they doing it or are we doing it? They're Putting gonna do stuff it. On. They're gonna do it. Uh, I'm really good at snapping turbo studs. Yeah. Well, I don't know anything about putting new clutches on. Or I mean, you can't. And we, you can't do the tune yourself. I don't think. No. no. So you need to be like. Yeah. So those things they're gonna do. Now I'm gonna do some stuff on myself. I'm gonna do like the intake and the the pipes and everything, and maybe the intercooler. And then I'll go back and they'll do the exhaust. And, and they're gonna. <laughs> K20, dude. And uh, yeah, so exciting. I'm excited. We're gonna window tinted this week. I think it's time to let go. Forget the past, just lose control. Cause life's too short for yapping. Come on and dance, come give me. Tesla Model 3 that they've been working on since last week. This one got the full window tint, paint protection film on the front end. And then Alex is polishing out the paint. And then we're gonna put a coating on it. Not sure exactly what coating. Can we figure out what coating's going on that? It's getting Modesta BCO4. <laughs> Tesla Model X getting a full wrap. Full satin, full uh, black satin. Uh, chrome deletes going gloss black. So gloss black, chrome delete, and satin black the rest of the car. Cool. This one's got to be done by the end of the week. Uh, I'm trying to get it done by Wednesday. Ooh, look at you! Overachiever. <laughs> truck here was actually in a video, this is a feature video that we did a year and a half ago, maybe two years. Uh, this one's getting a coating maintenance, we did Modesta on this, 
and then he had a little accident uh, on the front here, so we're redoing the front bumper paint protection film. That's gonna be done today. They already did the coating maintenance last week, so they'll do the paint protection film today. We'll recoat the front, wash it, and then that one's going out of here. Mazda Miata in the shop, we're doing an exterior enhancement, to, so we're gonna do about 80% correction. We're gonna do a correction compound with one section pass, and then we're gonna do a polishing step to refine the paint a little bit. Uh, this service usually is about 85% correction, but I wanted to show you guys, if you're a detail shop owner, this is a great way to save your butt. After we wash the car, we inspect the car, and we inspect it with a GoPro, and that means we go over every panel, the wheels, and what we're doing is we're covering our we're gonna go through and document all the damage on the vehicle, because what happens, a lot of people will bring their cars into the shop, it might be dirty, it might be salty, it might be the middle of the winter, and they might not realize that they have some damage that happened before they brought it to us. And after we detail the car, they're gonna be looking at it with a fine eye, and then they'll see these things, certain dents or scratches, and a lot of that gets put back on us, you know? So we've seen that a lot where people aren't really looking at their cars when they drop it off, when they we do the services, they look at it, and then they find all this stuff in these imperfections, and it's easy to blame the de detail shop. I get it, we're the last ones to touch it. So in order to prevent some of that stuff, we use this GoPro, and we go around the whole car and document everything. We'll have everything on video. So what we do is we turn this on, and we actually talk to the camera. This has a microphone, so I'll go through each panel and kind of point out the damage and just talk to it and say what it is. I even give him a call if you are freezing. This GoPro is like 200, 300 bucks, but it saved us thousands and thousands of dollars from customers coming in saying we've done some damage. I don't mind paying for damage that we've done. We're a detail shop, we're not perfect. Things do happen, accidents do happen, and I'm gladly to pay to anything that may happen, but I really hate paying for stuff that I know that I didn't do, and this will help save your butt, go through each car. It's easy, simple, it takes five minutes. they get trapped underneath the clear coat when the car's been painted. So people think they're like little rocks that stick to it or like tar or anything that stick to it. So you'll see people take their fingernails or a towel and think they could get that out, but that actually makes it worse on the paint. Highly recommend that trying to scratch or use your fingernail or with a towel to try and take out any kind of imperfections whatsoever. What is that for, the dust? Yeah, when I go home a lot, I get like a stuffy nose and like sinus like headaches a little bit. Yeah. And I'll clear my nose in like 30 minutes, like it's gone. So I don't know if I'm sensitive to this stuff or what yeah. not. So is it cool? Yeah, of course, man. You know, yeah, I can get you something, a face mask or a dust mask or something. Okay. They make special ones just for I saw those, they almost look like, kind of like a diamond kind of. Yeah. Like they're just like that and they're like black. I saw yeah. those. Yeah. And they just strap around they the just air. They around your just, nose, they have little nose piece and everything. Yeah, those, I saw those, those, those are cool. Stuff. Uh, I'm gonna get my car, I'm gonna clean it, and then we're gonna test these three coatings. Like the durability, what it looks like, and how long it lasts. So I wanna record me doing it first, and then we're gonna record the video, because it'll just be me saying, hey, we're gonna test out three tire, si or three tire coatings, and we'll go through it, and it'll just 
be me standing there talking about it with overlapping B-roll of us doing it. But I want to do the tire coating first because I want to be able to give my impressions of it on how I liked it, what it looks like, and that. So, uh, we'll grab my car, get it washed, go from there. <laughs> how, do, how do you start this? Do I say, hello? All right, yo, what's up? I'm taking, <laughs> uh, trying to get the body panels done today. So tomorrow we can get the chrome delete going, get that done tomorrow. And then Wednesday, put it all back together. Should be ready for the customer by then. All right, we're gonna do a quick test spot on the Lexus because this is, uh, the paint's pretty swirled up. It doesn't look black anymore. Customer wants it to look black. And we're just gonna do a test spot so we can show him realistic expectations on what it'll look like after our exterior enhancement service. So we'll just tape a little section off and go from there. Check it out, Adrian. Look a little better. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah, I think you'd be happy with that. I just wanted to make sure that it's yeah. pretty soft paint. That's why it's pretty scratched up like that. So, um, yeah, it came out. A lot of it came out just with that. That was beautiful. Should we go to the film room? Hello? Hello? Is anybody here? is going to show up today. Let's see what they said. Um, our truck and trailer just got back from picking up the McLaren. Let's see what Eric's schedule looks like. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully it's still coming today that's going to throw us off schedule a bit. So we had today and tomorrow to do the undercarriage, paint correction and everything. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they're doing the wrap part of it. We're going to have to try to, if we can come, if, if we can get it in the next hour or so, we can still wash it, take off the wheels, start the undercarriage, and then tomorrow we can 
put three guys on it, do the undercarriage, suspension, wheels. You don't have to do much on the outside. There's a little bit of a uh, little bit of imperfections that we want to correct a little bit, but then we'll just do a quick polish on the outside because we're going to be wrapping it. So hopefully, it'll still be good. Looking pretty good, though. I mean, what do you think you're getting out of here? There's some water spots still left over. Yeah, what I'm gonna do for now is just do the single stud, and then I'm gonna go over the water spots. Yeah, we're probably gonna go over the water spots twice just to see if we can get most of them out, but they're pretty heavy. Water spots are just uh, when water dries on the vehicle, if it sits on there and then it dries, especially if it's really dusty, all the minerals in the water will dry onto the paint. The water will evaporate and leaving those minerals and it'll kind of leave uh, an etching of where that water spot was. And that's just all the minerals in it that's actually eating through the clear coat. Getting this Macan hood ready for a special video that we're gonna do uh, tomorrow. So next episode, you're gonna have to come back and see what that is. Uh, we have to take this paint protection film off for the video that we're doing. We got this OEM hood from uh, the Ultimate Paint Shop. So just gotta get ready. Come back tomorrow. when everything goes right. You know, it didn't go right. The NSX didn't show up today. It's all right, we've been talking to him. It's just a little delay. It's gonna be here tomorrow, so no big deal. Um, guys have a lot of work to do anyway, so it just push, pushes us one day back. Um, but come back on the next episode, we're gonna start the NSX 10K detail, and then we'll finish up on all these other projects that we're doing. Still correcting the Jeep start polishing that tomorrow. They started the coating on the Tesla Model 3. Uh, they're gonna finish up the Mazda Miata uh, probably here soon and we'll have some after shots for you tomorrow. Show you the difference on that one. Really happy with the way it's turning out. Got that depth and that shine back. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. Make sure you can subscribe and like and comment and all that good stuff. On the next episode,